So uh, first and foremost, uh, when I'm traveling out in the bush, I'm on a walkabout, I'm out for you know uh, a couple days to a couple weeks, um, I always try and carry some sort of uh, flint napping uh, kit with me or uh, just a real simple down and dirty kit that doesn't have a lot, but it has enough for me to make some arrow points or even use some of the blades, um, the stone flakes as blades. Uh, my kit is basically a little uh, pouch like this, with a little antler tine drawstring. Cool thing about this little antler tine is I can use this as a pressure flaker, as well as I can use this actual uh, leather pouch as a hand pad, a little protection pad for when I'm driving flakes. But I carry uh, one whitetail uh, pressure flaker. I carry a little leather pad. That's my hand protection pad. I carry uh, maybe one, two, or three of these little preforms. This is dacite. These are just little stone preforms that they're not quite finally worked into their final shape, but uh, a lot of the large reduction and large removal uh, is, is already done. Now I just need to pressure flake these into what I, uh, you know, what I desire them to be. I could use these as scrapers as they are uh, right here, but yeah, one or two preforms just like this. Um, and then I bring something for hard percussion. Uh, stones are the best hard percussion device. Now you're thinking, why are you going to carry a stone with you? Well, these sorts of stones are very hard to find sometimes out in the wilds. And if I'm in lower elevations around rivers and streams, yeah, a little bit more likely. But right now I'm way up in the mountains um, and I have a lot of, you can kind of see this chossy kind of granity sort of rock all around me. And it's very hard to find a very uh, circular stone like this. So this is a stone that I want to use just in case I have to do any sort of you know, reduction from these little uh, preforms, I can use this hard percussion device. This is the only percussion device that I bring with me. And then I bring several flakes, uh, seven, eight, nine, four, five, doesn't really, don't really know. I just throw a bunch in there and away I go. And I have obsidian, novaculites, Kia cooks, uh, some dacite. And these allow me to essentially use them as uh, single flake blades like this, or I can turn these into some sort of a uh, hunting point, add a little dart point, uh, whatever the case may be. But out of all of this right here, um, you could pretty much go for several days with just this. I've got plenty of cutting tools and I've got the ability to resharpen any of the tools that I make with my pressure flakers and my hard percussion device. So uh, when I'm out and about, it's typically something just like this you see right here. I don't bring a lot of uh, soft percussion devices or even um, you know several hard percussion devices. I can usually resource those out in the wilds or get by with what uh, with what I have right here.